Hello, uh, welcome to Hello, welcome to Shell Scripting Tutorial. This is the 20th video session we are going to see um, in this series of tutorial. My name is Ravi. In this session, we are going to talk about the GUI mode of the operating systems. Okay, so I am going to show you uh, Red Hat Linux graphical user interface as well as uh, Ubuntu graphical user interface so any of the application we can use sorry any of the operating system we can use for this cell scripting but uh, if you use a different one so like uh, Red Hat Linux or Ubuntu few of the options may be differ some of the comments may not work in that may not work may not work in this may work may not work on the different operating systems okay so let's see here the first one is uh, here i have a uh, red hat linux operating system so basically if you see in a windows operating system what happens here it is it will be like um, your menu start menu will be here right but here the menu application menu the start menu will be here in the above so by default it will be there so if you can click here on the application so you can also see same like of our windows it will you can able to see all the utilities okay system tools okay like this all the by default it does whatever the selection you have while installing so those many applications will be installed here okay so what are the applications you frequently open or uh, so many times if you open those applications will go into the favorites okay so places in the sense uh, you, if you want to go somewhere like uh, you want to go to the home directory okay documents like this so you can also open my computer here so in the windows if you see my computer okay same like the my computer you can open here and uh, browse like uh, graphical user interface okay all the folders you can just browse from here itself okay like this you can go to up to any of the desktop and you can uh, create directories here okay you can create empty files like that you can do it so in the other side the right side okay the reason is sound bar which you can increase your volume you can do your sound settings and here it is in a network icon so you can configure the ip address okay your ip address okay if you click here on the settings you can clear your uh, ip address settings okay basically it's dhcp automatically is there if you want to do it you can just cl click on the manual so that you are uh, you can assign any manual IP address, okay. Security. So if you want to enable uh, Wi-Fi security here, yeah, you can do that, okay. This is the identity in the sense name of your uh, Ethernet card, okay. MAC address, uh, cloned address, okay. MTU. What is the things you wanted to set it out? All the stuff you can set it out here, okay. Network network proxy settings basically you can give on the browser as well or else for the command line and all the stuff you can just assign the proxy here every traffic will be rerouted from this proxy okay same like our uh, windows control panel so here will be some settings if you want to configure some privacy okay you want to some configure any things okay languages if you want to change you can also do that from here okay see here language just to select the language and change it mouse touchpad so what is the settings you want all the stuff you can do it from here itself okay, you can also create the users see here if we click on the here you can create the user standard user or administrator user okay or some domain and using the some other uh, settings also you can do here okay click on the root the username uh, actually i have logged in as a root if you want to 
reboot your machine or log out or log in okay lock lock your machine in the sense your current session will be locked until unless you give the password it will not open so log out in the sense the user will be logged out it log out from the system you can log in with the same user or other user okay you can do the settings in the sense where we did we see right now okay power off power off in the sense it will give you the restart power off all those options okay you can do anything here okay click on restart it will restart your machine power off in the sense it will power off okay so this is the normal things only but if you see a one ultimate advantage we get whenever you are using any, any linux operating system is called workspaces okay what does mean by workspaces here it is from the single screen you can open any multiple desktops and work on the multiple uh, applications in the same time okay here are the four workspaces you have okay suppose say if i open one terminal here and type one okay i opened this one in the workspace one and you can switch back from workspace two okay you can also open one more terminal here and type two so this one i have opened into the workspace two okay you can also go to the workspace three and you can open one more terminal and you can see three okay you can go to the workspace four you can also open one more application it's four so if you are running any uh, kind of uh, simulation stuff or which job can take more time okay or you don't want to disturb that uh, sessions to be uh, continuously running then what you can do here it is the big advantage you can just go to the different workspace and initiate your job and come back to the other workspace and you can work your job continuation so that it will give you a more productivity to your things okay like that you can open an n number of applications on the different different workspaces and work on it okay like this you can simply switch to your multiple desktop but whereas if you go with an windows you did not get this option there is only single desktop you have to work that's it okay so here you will get any this advantage so this is about the red hat linux uh, 7 actually okay uh, as it showed you options okay let's go to the ubuntu okay this is my ubuntu application ubuntu linux okay just i am logging to the ubuntu linux here okay this is my ubuntu linux so here also we have any workspaces see here these are the workspaces you can switch back from here to here or here to here okay like that but these workspaces by default is disabled mode so when you go to the settings okay system settings here and click on the appearance okay behavior so here you have to click on the enable workspaces see if you disable this one there is a icon is went off if you click on this one the icon is coming like workspaces switcher okay so by default it will be hidden mode so you have to enable that workspace in the ubuntu operating system then only you can able to see the multiple this one workspaces switcher okay so this one is like our uh, uh, my computer files so you can open my computer files from here documents desktop home all the stuff like same like our uh, simply like graphical user interface whatever the things okay recently opened all the stuff you can be here you can also connect it to the remote machine simply you can just share a windows share from the windows machine and you can just connect to that share from here or else you can also share your uh, ubuntu directory and you can browse it from the windows so it's very simple straightforward okay so like that you can use here this is our just like our my computer in the windows okay so this one will be here all the applications the close buttons and the minimize maximums will be in the left side okay so like this 
but whereas we will get on the other side for the different uh, operating systems okay now here it is like settings of your um, connections like uh, Wi-Fi connection or wired connection whatever the connections you wanted to do here you can just select it and edit so your you can set it out your IP settings here same like okay if you set in manual you just assign your IP address here and IP address network mask and all the stuff you can do that like this you can simply switch to your okay sound settings all the stuff so calendar settings in the sense you can change your date and time okay you can also reboot or log out suspend the session all the stuff you can do it from here itself here also you will get the same if you click on set down restart or shut down like that you can also get the options so here we have any one interesting one here it is we have any lot many applications here available on the ubuntu operating system by default okay if you say if you want to some video editing softwares or if you want some uh, software to be uh, installed on your machine okay which you can do just click, click on here and uh, okay so there are the number of applications is open see here any application you can just install it and use it so that is the best options we can get on the ubuntu operating system okay so here you can just click right click and open the terminal so you can work on the command line from here okay you can also pin any applications here okay see lapo says just i unlocked it so it's went off if i open in a terminal and right click here and lock the launcher so that if i close this one but still my terminal icon will be here in the sense same like pin your any applications to the taskbar so by default they will give the um, office okay like uh, excel or uh, the powerpoint presentation something like uh, it will be different but same like your excel sheet library office so it will be completely free you don't need to pay for it like that there are a number of applications available on this see here so a number of applications available on the ubuntu by f by freely you can just use it on the graphical user interface or you can also use command line interface for basically i can say if you are an, a just fresher or uh, the just learner starting the learning on your uh, uh, ubuntu or uh, the linux so you can just use this ubuntu operating system so here you can just get the uh, the edit so your graphical text editor you can just write your any codes on this and you can save and you can directly uh, execute if you don't have um, if you don't have any much experience on the command line interface how to edit the files and all the stuff already we learned in the previous sessions as well but you can still use this graphical user interface for your convenient and better uh, purpose okay that's about this session okay so we can we are going to um, discuss a very important and uh, uh, very important and upcoming sessions okay just we are going to start few more comments after that we are just uh, going into our real scripting uh, right, script writing sessions okay stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you did not yet okay and please press like button if you like this video please press this like button if you did not like this video so that we can improve from upcoming sessions thanks for watching